Hi, it's Jim with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast. And I did get my knit crates today, and it's in that nice shiny box. It's supposed to help keep it from being... Oh. Getting wet on the inside. Ignore the big bag over there. Ignore the bag over there to that side. Yeah, I'm going through stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I know that this month's knit crate is an alpaca blend. Since I'm allergic to alpaca, I thought about doing a giveaway. I decided instead I'm going to leave this, put it up in my little bin with all my special yarns, and it will be a prize in a future giveaway. Um, I don't know, either a thousand, whatever, maybe closer. We'll see. So, yes, we all know I'm allergic to alpaca, but I am going to put this away. I'm going to put it away in the box, in the tote that I keep my special yarns in with the lavender. So, here we go. What we get? What we get? Ooh, we got the pretty blue. Of course, if I was keeping it, it wouldn't matter if it was blue or the uh, green one. And uh, this, it's soft. This is their Audine Wool's Halo DK. And the colorway is Electric Abalone. It is 50% alpaca. 30% merino wool, 20% nylon. You get 236 yards, 100 grams, and of course, you get two. So we're going to. I told you I'm going to get used to this. It is absolutely beautiful. Maybe I'll wear gloves and use it. No, I won't. I couldn't stand it anyway. I wouldn't be able to wear it. So, you're going to get two of these eventually when I have the next giveaway. And they're beautiful. They're very soft. It's going to get packaged just like that. And there is the book. I'm telling you folks, with this new camera, I have the hardest time figuring out which way to go. That is the book, and you do get that. And we are going to show you the real pretty colors they had with all the other boxes. Now you know, I believe it's next month, they are doing away with the Sock Artisan and the artisan crate and you will get the you'll either get a choice of the sock weight or just the plain membership from now on um, although you know I'm sure they'll still have the Malabrigo from time to time I haven't got in on that yet one of these days I'm gonna give me a skein of Malabrigo and the theme, of course, was the good vibes only. And this is the crochet pattern. It's very nice. Get away from the glare. It is called Scaling Scalene. It says, let me see your halo. And, of course, this is the knit pattern. Oh, man, that's a nice pattern. I like them both. I still haven't done the, uh, started the knit crates from last month. I've got a few to catch up on. 
haven't done that uh, lovely turmeric colored one I got way back in whatever big bulky yeah you know I'm not too thrilled with that one but uh, the knit pattern is called B Belita by Curie Fitzgerald the crochet one is by um, Jen Hayes Creation. Okay, now I thought it had a different name over here. Oh, that was just the title. The actual name of this shawl is. Bell Askew. It's beautiful. I think I'll do that with what I got last month. Uses an H hook. And of course, you know, you get the information about the um, designers. Man, that is pretty. That sock yarn. Electric Love. Ooh, and the sock patterns. Now, I don't make sock patterns. There's a reason I don't make sock patterns. I have the second sock syndrome. I did make a few um, sock patterns. Crocheted and knit. The knit ones that I have done, I've done them two at a time using the magic loop. I can get through with them. I do that with my mittens. I do that with, you know, a lot of things that I need duplicates of. But I prefer crocheted socks when I wear them on my feet. So I do have some crocheted socks. I have a couple knitted I have upstairs. But I don't generally wear them because I've got that venous stasis dermatitis, which means I have to wear compression socks, and those are hard to knit. Next month's theme peak is called Whisper, and there's the clue next month's theme looks like it might be some black and white or a gray tone um, might be a green in there but I'm guessing it's gonna be maybe some tealy tealy greens but anyway we look forward to putting this away and it will be going up for one of the other giveaways later on hope you didn't see my address there if you did oh well just don't stalk me I did decide with the um, let me see if I can get it that uh, shawl pattern I had started doing it in dark orchid and there was a reason I was doing it in the dark orchid. It is knitted this way, top down. And I got to looking at it, and it is the Oaklet shawl. So I am going to go ahead and finish it. I have eight rows of this pattern to do again and then I start a border pattern and um, although I don't have enough of this dark orchid so I'm hoping I can find some somewhere um, we have a Ben Franklin's that is about an hour away from us so I will be checking Ben Franklin to see if uh, they still carry the dark orchid 
So yeah, I did decide I'm going to go ahead and finish this one instead of ripping it out. But uh, I started looking and reading line through line. And yes, it is the oaklet. So I will go ahead and finish that so I can get it off for prayer show. And uh, I have a scarf over there that I'm going to rip out because I don't like it. So uh, I will see you again soon. This is going up Wednesday, the day of Snowmageddon. And we'll see what we get then. Remember, if ever you're out in public, somebody's having a bad day. Your smile and your being kind to them may turn the whole day around. And you never know how you're going to affect another person. You may have stopped that person from doing something awful to themselves or someone else simply by choosing to be kind.